Johnny. Hey, folks, this is Johnny. Welcome to another Studio One Snapshot. And what we're going to look at is if you have to trouble to, uh, troubleshoot, <laughs> easy for me to say, uh, any VST instruments, I'm going to show you how to shut them off so you can reopen the song and remove the bad plugin. So let's go ahead and go right to the classroom. And uh, once you actually open Studio One, what we're going to do is we're going to go to Studio One Preferences. And uh, I believe it's Settings on a PC. And what you want to do here, I'm going to open this up wider so you guys can really see where I'm going. You're going to want to go to Advanced. And then you want to go all the way to Services. You're going to go here and it's going to say, you better be careful. <laughs> Don't be stupid. And then you're going to say, I'll be careful. So what this is going to do is this is going to show you all of the services and all of the options that you can turn off in Studio One. And if you look closely, you've really got a lot of options here that you can you can turn off the ARA support, which will uh, stop things like Melodyne from working. You can turn off VST3, which is what we're going to look at, and VST2. You can turn off all of these options, CD burning support. Now, I've never really needed, even with clients, I've never really needed to go into any of these other ones. Usually the one that I really have to work with is the VST plugins. So if you have a song that won't open, you know, you click on it in the main page and it gets halfway there and it just immediately shuts down. I had this problem uh, with a bass plugin that I downloaded, some free plugin I had. So what you can do is you can actually click on the VST3 and you can click disable. You can click on the VST2 and click disable. And then it's going to restart. Let me see. Let me actually do this. I'm going to disable VST2. I'm going to say disable. There we go. So if you look at the warning box... It's going to say your changes will be applied the next time you start Studio One. Do you want to restart Studio One? And in your case, you would say yes. So I think in this case, I am going to say no, and then I'm going to re-enable it. And then just click OK. Just like that. There we go. So once you do that, you can open up the song that you're having trouble with, remove uh, plugins, kind of one at a time, go back, reactivate it, and say, okay, let's see if this works. And you can easily track down a problem plugin. Now, you should get also a report if it's shutting down. Maybe that will give you an idea. But I think it's a good idea to do this before you put in a ticket with personas or anything like that because 99% of the time, these issues usually end up being an issue with a particular plugin. So it's a really good idea to go ahead, go through things carefully, and then if you can't track down the issue and you just can't open this one song, go ahead and put in a support ticket. All right, I hope you guys found that useful, and I'll see you all in the next video.